groceries. Okay. Bye, Mom. Oh, sorry. Headley Anderson. Miss Montgomery's class. Sixth grade. You're Bodie Miller. Didn't you move to Chicago after seven? Well, I've, we moved back. Take care. See you around. Hey, Bodie! Are you kidding? He remembered you from sixth grade? Mm -hmm. What does he look like now? I have a photo. He's so hot. <laughs> and then what happened? Bodhi held my hand, our eyes locked, and then he said, I'm really glad I bumped into you. Ah, this is unbelievable. This is life-changing, Headley. Do you realize that? I do, because you know what? It made me determined to carry out my plan. What plan? The plan for my mom. Your mother? Hello, what does your mother have to do with Bodie Miller? When Bodie held my hand, it was like nothing in the world mattered. Everything just faded into the background and was totally unimportant. Yeah? So that's what my mom needs, so she can stop concentrating so much on me. She needs to fall in love. <laughs> Any plans for tonight? Well, student government has a meeting, but publicity doesn't have to go. Well, Lou gave me a gift certificate for a really fancy French restaurant. So what do you say? We go tonight? Just you and me? Candlelight dinner for two? I hear the crepes are amazing. You can put as much syrup as you want on them. Mm. OK, great. Well, I have to do payroll tonight, so I'll be home by 7, and I'll make a reservation for 8, OK? OK. Mm. Well, it's official. Not only are my mom and I BFFs, but we're now going steady. <laughs> she keeps us up. She's gonna want to go to college with me. Time to sign her up for Cupid's Helper. A dating site? Definitely. <laughs> what are you gonna do if someone actually replies? Connect them, of course. <laughs> I've set a goal. I want my mother in love with someone by summer. Summer? Mm hmm Okay. This is what I was thinking of for Cupid's Helper. What do you think? I have my doubts. About what? An iris? Yeah, that's my mother's favorite flower. What if the guy doesn't know what an iris is? If he doesn't know what an iris is, then I don't want him dating my mom. And something purple? Isn't that going to be a stretch for most men? Exactly. I want a guy who's willing to go that extra mile. Hi, guys. Oh, hey. Hey. Headley, here comes Bodie. I heard he played varsity football at his old school as a freshman. Wow. That was like chemical. I thought he moved away. He moved back and he's got the hots for Headley. I'm late for music class. Later. Thanks for stopping by. Hey. Hey, Lou. Guess who just got back from the bank and got us a loan to fix up this kitchen? <laughs> Bet you're glad we are partners. Looks like we're going to make it work. Yes. You guys better make it work. If I lose this job, I'll be sleeping in the streets, gagging on the food I drag out of the bin, and watching my teeth fall out one by one. But no pressure. No. By the way, when you go with a check, I suggest you take that off. Noted. Well, look who's here, our reason for being. Yeah, your legs have grown two inches since well, yesterday. Now you stop that. Hi, honey. Hi. You hungry? Name it. I'll cook it. Oh, no, I'm OK. Thanks, though. Suit yourself. So what are you wearing on Sunday night? Uh, Mom, you have a date with Chuck. Oh, you know, I don't think I'm going to go. I, I just don't feel like Time it. someone else treated you to an evening out. That's right. Make sure he picks up the entire bill. And dress up a little, make an impression. <laughs> In the interest of cooperation, and so that you two, no, you three do not gang up on me, I will go. <laughs> <All right. laughs>
<laughs> hey, Lou. Hmm? Thanks for sending me out. Just go. And have a nice time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Isn't easy. And forgetting's hard to do. Second chances are you don't want to hang on, but you don't want to forget because. Some things just suck. Oh, oh sorry. my bad. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Been to the laundromat lately? Oh, we got our washer fixed, so now we can do laundry at home. <laughs> That was the stupidest question I've definitely asked anyone in my entire life. <laughs> and my answer was totally lame. I can't believe what brilliant conversationalists we are. <laughs> you know, we should get together sometime. Amaze each other with our brilliance. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Until then. <laughs> cool. Hi, I'm Chuck. I'm Headley. Nice to meet you, Leslie. Oh, sorry, it's, it's actually Headley. Nice name. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, hi. Chuck, um, I'm Renee. Renee, pleased to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Honey, could you put these in a vase? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> OK. Well, you two have fun. Inspire me, Kylie. Chuck, dinner was great. I had a great time. <laughs> mm. You know, I am so exhausted. I had such a long week. So, good night. Uh, when can I see you again? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm so busy. It, it could be months. That's okay. Um. I'm gonna close the door now. Good night. Good night, Chuck. <sighs> you can stop pretending. I know you're awake. He looked so much better from a distance. <laughs> the larger the distance between us, the better. 
I would have had so much more fun just going out to dinner with you. So, what have you decided about Barry's office party? Definitely not going. Well, it might be fun. Honey, I like him when he's ordering his brisket, Hedley. That's it. But, Mom, maybe if you'd get to know stop. him... Stop! Please, just stop, Hedley. I... I found the love of my life once. Not gonna happen again. Here we go. Okay, and would you say that my mom's personality is quirky or perky? Are those your only two choices? No, I can say whatever I want. If you want a lot of responses, say sexy. Willis! And I want quality, not quantity. Okay, quirky. What are you gonna do when your mother gets the bill for all this? I'm going to say, here's the 200 I say from babysitting. No need to thank me for turning your life around. What? No! Her credit card was rejected. We did all this for nothing. You know what? This is not gonna stop me. We're just gonna have to make our own dating service. We? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so now, class, we are gonna review last week's creative writing assignment. Sum up my life in two words. Who wants to go first? How about you, Headley? We always enjoy your writing. Okay. If I were to sum up my life in two words, it would be bad luck. First bad luck was the night I was born. We lived in Florida then, and there was a hurricane. My dad drove off the side of the road into a ditch, resulting in an off-duty policeman having to deliver me. Second piece of bad luck was that officer's last name was Headley. <laughs> but at least they didn't give me his first name, which was Elmer. <laughs> One good thing, actually probably the only good thing about having a horrible first name, is that it makes you sympathetic to other people who also have horrible first names, such as, say, Willis. <laughs> the third piece of bad luck was when I was four, my mother's younger brother got drunk, stole a car, and crashed it into a grocery store wall. No one was hurt, but the worst luck of my life was five years ago when my dad died. Uh, he was hit by a bus and died in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. So now not only do I not get to be with my awesome dad, but as an extra bonus, I'm also the center of my mother's universe. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's really nice being the center of someone's universe. But when that person's your mom, it really interferes with one's love life. All right, I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, I've been giving it a lot of thought, and this is what I think we should do. For plan B? Yes our very own version of Cupid's Helper. We'll meet in the park. I've seen a lot of eligible looking guys walking their dogs there. I'll approach the promising ones and tell them that we're doing a school report on dog lovers and that I just need a little information. Before they know what hit them, I'll have their names and email addresses. We'll be set. This should be interesting. I'll meet you in the park in an hour. Bye. Hey, Headley. Hey. Catch. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> okay, time to find my mom a husband. Here I go. Excuse me. Hi, uh, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, sure. All right, so you have a dog? I do, yeah. Do you have any kids? That went well. And one down, one more to go.
Excuse me. Hi, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions for a school report? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, thanks. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name's Scott. Scott, nice to meet you. I'm Headley. Headley? Nice to meet you, Scott. You too. All right. Do you have any kids? <laughs> no. No? no? Kids. All right. Are you in a relationship currently? Uh, no. Though I do have my trusty companion here. <laughs> All right, thank you. It was very nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. Well? OK, so guy number one, Eric owns a gym, just broke off an engagement, so that's iffy. But he seems like a nice guy. And guy number two is Scott. He's single, divorced, no kids, loves dogs, wants kids in the future, a landscape architect, and not in a serious relationship at the moment. Except I want to do one more. Hello. One o'clock. But he has a kid. So does my mom. Maybe he's divorced. Middle of the afternoon, yeah, most likely uh, Mr. Mom. We shall soon see. Hi. Excuse uh, hi. me, do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions for a social studies assignment? Uh, it's about how men are more involved with child rearing these days. It'll only take like a minute, I promise. Okay. So, how many kids do you have? Uh, just the one. All right. And approximately how many hours a day would you say that you spend with him? Uh, all the time. Uh, except when he's at school. OK. It's quite a lot for a dad. And how many hours a day would you say that your wife spends with him? Uh, Connor, why don't you go play on the bike for a bit? Uh, my wife passed away three years ago. I'm sorry. It's OK. My dad passed away when I was 10. Well, now it's my turn to be sorry. <sighs> Thank you. Anyways, I, sh I should probably get going. But it was nice okay. to meet you. Well, it was nice to meet you. I'm Headley. Hi, Headley. I'm Andrew. Andrew, nice to meet you. Nice to Thank meet you. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Thank you. You have a nice day. We totally bonded. I hope you're right about this. And what about your mom? How are you going to convince her? Relax, Willis. I have it all under control. Hey, Mom. Willis has a thing for school. Can you help him? Uh, what do you mean? Well, he has to do a video interviewing an adult, kind of like a psychological profile on someone. A psychological profile? Why me? Well, it can't be anyone from his own family. It has to be someone else. So can you come over later and film it? I don't think I'm the right person. Right person? Mom, you're exactly the right person. You know, he needs someone who's not perfect, who's too busy to stop and smell the roses, and who neglects themselves most of the time. That's you. Thank you for the vote of confidence and the stellar description of my boring life. Mom, you know what I mean. And besides, Willis really, really needs this. Please. If you agree to do this, then I promise to do the dishes for a whole week. OK, two weeks, and you have a deal. <laughs> OK, deal. Uh, oh, All right, smush. OK, OK. OK, let's begin. What do you think is the most important quality a person can have? Um, a sense of humor. I believe that cliche that if you can laugh at yourself, you can get through anything. And what do you like to do most in your free time? Anything free. <laughs> no, seriously, I love to jog and hike and swim, anything outdoors. And I think civilization's greatest accomplishment is a long, hot shower. Oh, and I love picnics. Picnics at night. <laughs> and do you like children? I love children. I love children. What does that have to do with the psychological What profile? is your greatest challenge? Oh, uh, technology. You're right about the backlighting. Technology. You see? I am technologically challenged. I mean, it's ridiculous, really. I can't even figure out how to set the clocks back for daylight savings time. I know I'm biased, but who wouldn't want to date a woman like that? We will find out. Done. <laughs> Hi. My 
My name is Headley, and I'm the girl you spoke to in the park the other day. I told you that I was doing a school project. Well, I actually have a confession to make. I wasn't doing a school project. I was doing a personal project. Namely, trying to find a great guy for my mom. So if you're interested, then please open the video attachment below. I believe that cliche that if you can laugh at yourself, you can get through anything. <laughs> no, seriously, I love to jog and hike and swim, anything outdoors. And I think civilization's greatest accomplishment is a long, hot shower. I am technologically challenged. I mean, it's ridiculous, really. I can't even figure out how to set the clocks back for daylight savings time. And cars? Cars and I, they don't Is that stuff. mommy? No, mommy had black hair, remember, Connie? So if you're interested in meeting her, then please contact my friend at the email address listed below, and he'll explain how to proceed. Two of them replied. Two of them want to meet her. Oh, Willis, you are a genius. I emailed them back with the address of the bistro and suggested times. That's awesome. But did you tell them that they have to meet her while pretending that they're not really meeting her? That she can't know what I did? I explained everything in detail. Oh, that's awesome. Willis, you are a genius. I will see you at school tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow, then. Hey, table for one? Yes. Come this way. I think this is fine. Enjoy. That's great, thank you. Oh, um, could I ask you a question? Sure. Do you have any, um, diet soda? Oh. Of course, I'll, I'll tell you, waitress. Yeah, oh, uh, wait, um, I, actually, soda's not good for you. It, uh, it messes with your electrolytes. I own a gym. I probably shouldn't be drinking soda at all. <laughs> what would you recommend for me? Uh, we have some delicious lemonade. Lemonade, yeah, that, that sounds good. I'll, I'll have some of your lemonade. Okay. Yeah, let's say, um, do you work out? Yes. Because I would, I would love to get you in the gym, you know, to give you some uh, personal training. Oh. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd say you have an admirer. Lemonade, table seven. You must have been thirsty. Six glasses of lemonade, now that's a record. <laughs> Thanks. Do you care for anything else? No, 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 no. I'll just uh, take the bill, sweetheart. Whew. Six bucks for lemonade. That is pricey lemonade. I only charge you for two. Uh, Thank you. Um, Another customer. Hi. Hi. Uh, table for one? Yeah. This way. Here you go. Mitzi? Oh, I don't, uh, I don't need a menu. Oh, well, that's great, because your waitress is right here. So. Actually, would it be OK if you took my order? OK. I think I will have a bowl of your clam chowder. Oh, we only have that on Fridays. Oh, OK. What about the uh, ribs? Uh, last week. I will have your boysenberry waffles, please. We stopped serving breakfast at 11. I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, maybe you should take a look. Oh, I, uh, I am lucky. There's a lot of weird people on the loose today. Are you wearing some new perfume or something? Because you're attracting guys like flies to roadkill. 
I don't know what's going on. Hi, Mom. Hey, honey. Long day at school. Actually, band practice. Oh. So, how was the bistro today? Fine. It was busy. But I handled the crowd with my customary charm and grace. I think we can all agree that I'm the best waitress in this place. You're our only waitress. You make a good point. <laughs> Actually, there were some really strange people in here today. Strange? In what way? I don't know. They were just weird, looking at me funny. Oh? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe they were admiring you. You think? Oh, they were. Your mom was a man magnet today. Groves of them coming in off the sidewalk. <laughs> Two, actually. What happened? Uh, well, one of them left after drinking six, count them, six glasses of lemonade, and the other one took two hours to finish his soup. Did you talk much to either of them? Sort of. They were asking kind of weird questions. So what's your sign? You like getaways, holidays? You like paintball? As friends, of course. No, I'm just kidding. Bang, bang, bang. You ever had a root canal? What did you say? Said, I'm too busy during the week to do anything on my weekend nights. Why'd you say that? Because it's true. Well, how'd you end it with him? Which one, the cheapskate? Or the gorgeous model type who couldn't take his eyes off your mother? Both of them. She blew them both off. I mean, the cheapskate, I understand that. But the other one, I, if I was your mom... Uh, you know what, Mitzi? Let's just hold that thought. Let's go, honey. That's a good idea. Oh. If we're fast enough, maybe I can catch up to Don Juan. <laughs> Renee, can I have a word with you? Uh, I'll be right back, honey. Okay. Well, that was a total disaster. She blew them both off. It didn't work. Mission unaccomplished. Weird is a strange word to describe potential suitors. What are you talking about? You need to make a life for yourself, Renee. You need to be open to change. Hedley needs some space. She's a young lady now, a teenager. She's not your little girl anymore. Hmm? Anyways, I gotta go. She's coming. Talk to you later. Let's go. Night, you guys. Bye. Thanks for closing up. And I love picnics. Picnics at night. <laughs> I am technologically challenged. I mean, it's ridiculous, really. I can't even figure out how to set the clocks back for daylight savings time. And cars? Hello? Bingo. Good news. The only one we haven't heard from yet, Andrew, the one with the kid, wants to meet your mom. Oh, that's awesome. Hopefully she doesn't screw this one up, too. But hey, third time's a charm, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I will see you tomorrow at school. I, I was wondering. Yeah? It's nothing. I I'll see you tomorrow. Hi. Hi. Table for two? Uh, yeah. Hi, sport. Hi. <laughs> this way. You look like that lady on TV. Really? I, I, I think what he means is you look like that woman on the, the news. Some, some woman, the local news. <laughs> <laughs> and you look like my mother. I, actually, you don't look anything like his mother. My mom's in heaven. I'm so sorry. Sometimes my son just says the first thing that pops into his head. <laughs> it's fine. He's adorable. Hey, sport, you want some stuff to draw with? OK. I have some things that kids left. Here, you can play with them. How about this? What do you think? No? <laughs> All right, how about a million bucks? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the truck. <laughs> I'm going to drive a big truck when I grow up. Maybe a big red fire truck? Yeah. Put lots and lots of fires out. Mom, who's the first person you ever fell in love with? You know the answer to that. Well, let's just pretend I don't. Indulge me. Your father. How long did it take for you to realize you loved him after you'd met him? Four seconds. I thought you said it was three. Okay, it was a <laughs> long time ago. Three seconds. How did you know that you loved him? I don't know, it was the way he made me feel. 
like he really understood me. Um, like I was the most important girl on the whole planet. When was the first time you kissed him? After he gave me a four pound chocolate chip cookie. For on Valentine's Day. Day. Yeah. <laughs> And then he sang you a song he made for you and you cried. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. I don't want to talk about it. It's ancient history. That's OK. I like history. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the first something you chose to write about? My first bra. Uh, what? Really? You are? I'm kidding, Willis. It's about my first trip to New York. Oh, yeah? Talking about my first football game. I was the quarterback. 63 to 0. Total slaughter. Okay, class. Sorry I'm late. Let's get focused on today's lesson. Who wants to read first? Headley, 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 Headley. I have chosen to write about my first real kiss. Uh, this is going to be appropriate, isn't it, Headley? Oh, completely, Mrs. Donnelly. All right. No, unfortunately, my first real kiss hasn't happened yet. Aww. That's enough, class. I mean, I'm not talking about regular kisses. I've had those. And <laughs> yes, my braces have gotten caught on someone else's braces. <laughs> but never the real thing. Never the knock your socks off, make your head spin kind of kiss. That's what I'm talking about. Ever since ladies' lips met tramps over a plate of spaghetti in the middle of a noodle, I've wanted what can only be described as a real, meaningful kiss. Baby Bodhi can help you with that. <laughs> but recently, I have realized that in order to have a meaningful kiss, I first need to have a meaningful relationship. And in order to have a meaningful relationship, I need to get to know someone. What about Willis? <laughs> <laughs> to get to know someone, I'm going to have to do some serious flirting. <laughs> Let's get started right now. <laughs> Give it up, Blaine. <laughs> so because the saga of my first real kiss is still a twinkle in some guy's eye, I hereby vow to achieve my goal by summer. Forget summer. I think that kiss is gonna happen within a week. You're hot, girl. Okay, thanks to Hedley for going first. We need another volunteer. Hey, you guys. Can I uh, get you anything else? Could I get your... Uh, uh, the bill, please? Sure. Sparks were flying all around out there. Mm -hmm. I was afraid they'd ignite and burn the bistro to the ground. And we'd all be in deep trouble because I'm pretty sure you guys don't have enough fire insurance. He wants his bill. <laughs> oh, sure. No, no, I I'll do it. Here you go. Thank you. Um, the food was great. And the service, well, I think I'll have to come back to make that decision. That would be nice. Thanks for being patient with Connor and me. Oh, it was nothing. Oh, hey, I'm Renee. Uh, I'm Andrew. You live nearby? Yes, I, I live on the other side of the park on Willow Drive. Huh? You know what, Emily? I think we should stop taking Zumba lessons. Leave our Friday nights open for social events. What social events? The ones we'll have where we're not taking Zumba classes? Anything interesting happen at the bistro today? No? Nothing? Nothing at all? No. I think I'll just turn in early tonight, okay? All right. <laughs> well, night, Mom. <laughs>
Hello? Willis, something weird is up with my mom. Like her daughter setting her up on secret blind dates? No. No, I, I really think she and Andrew are hitting it off. You know, she seems happier. And you know what? It's not easy making love connections, Willis, OK? Yeah, I know. Anyway, I want to try and finish this song tonight, but I'll see you tomorrow. OK, bye. Later. Any solos tonight? Yeah, my son's in school. He stays an hour later on Wednesdays for this special music appreciation class. Oh. He's usually out by three. I don't know why I thought you needed to know that. <laughs> <laughs> because I might have thought he didn't like the food if he didn't explain it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to apologize, my son. Are you kidding me? He's adorable. I, the, the, the fact of the matter is, I, I didn't come here. Today to eat. Yeah? Would you go out with me sometime? Yes. Yeah. I would love to. Maybe, I, I, maybe I'll call you later. Yeah, okay. 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 Wow. All right. Hi. Hi. What was that? On? I think I might have a date. A date? Date? Someone say something about a date? <sighs> Back to work. Go, 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 go. go. <laughs> Headley, something happened at work today. And what is that? Well, um, this really cute guy came in and he asked me out. Yeah? Yeah. He seemed really nice, and he had kind eyes. Well, what's his name? Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, I have to take this, but I'll just be one second. Willis, you are not going to believe this. My mom and Andrew are going out on a date. We actually did it. We are the dynamic duo. I guess all the planets align to make this happen. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess so. Anyways, um, I have to go, but I'll talk to you tomorrow at school. Okay, bye. So, Andrew. Yes? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I, I never thought it was that way. It's <laughs> okay, okay, well, if you say so. Actual giggling? Full on giggling. What can I say, Willis? We have the touch. You and I should become professional matchmakers. Hey, Headley. Hey, Bodie. Hey, Bodie. So, Bodie the Brilliant is now going to be the recipient of your serious flirting? The guy who once thought Alaska was an island? Hey, Bodie. Is Alaska an island? No. <laughs> Who would think Alaska was an island? Great. Looking forward to tonight. <laughs> that was sixth grade, Willis. And the way the maps put Hawaii and Alaska down in the corner, it's totally understandable. Tonight? What's tonight? He asked me out. You're going on a date with Bodhi? <laughs> what's the matter with Bodhi? If you don't know what's the matter with Bodhi, if every single cell in your body doesn't scream out an objection, if the very sound of his name doesn't send shivers up your spine, then I have nothing to say to you. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Headley, he's an airhead. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Renee. It's Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hi. Uh, I thought I'd pick you up a little early today. Maybe come by my place for a, a drink before dinner. How's that sound? Yeah, that sounds fun. All right, we'll see you then. Bye. Okay, bye. Willis, this is beautiful. Careful. 
It's a meteorite. It's from an actual shooting star. Well, it's amazing. I love it. So my mom's been canceling a lot of plans with me. She says it's because I need more free time. Does that bother you? No. No, I, I mean, this is what I wanted. And besides, I have Bodhi. I just, I just hope Bodhi doesn't distract you from your songwriting. Because you're very talented, you know, and that would be a shame. What do you mean? Everyone loves your songs. I've just been having some trouble with the latest. A little writer's block is all. That's what I'm concerned about, that Bodhi is the block. Maybe you shouldn't go on your date tonight. <laughs> Relax, I'm sure Bodhi is not a problem. <laughs> so tell me more about that rock from the shooting star. And I got this new dress. And I was thinking about wearing those little tiny eyelashes. You're right. I shouldn't wear them. I'm way too old. So. No! Mom, I want you to get fake eyelashes. I totally approve. I just... I can't believe you're finally indulging yourself like this. So, where is he taking you on your date? Uh, to his house for cocktails, and then we're going out to dinner. But he won't tell me where. It's a surprise. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I actually have some earrings that would go perfectly with that. I'll be right back, okay? Thanks, honey. So you, um, you never told me what you do for Oh, I, uh, I run a specialty item advertising company. Really? Yeah, I design marketing campaigns for unique items. Huh. Like, um, the electric ice cream scoop. What? It saves the arm from undue stress. Oh. Barbecue goggles so the smoke doesn't get in your eyes. Uh-huh. Salad tongs that dispense dressing. And the biggest money maker, the one that put us on the map, is the glowing ice cube. <laughs> They're beautiful. Imagine a room full of people at a party, each with one of these in their glass. Hmm. I feel like I'm drinking moonlight. I can't believe you just said that. Stay right here. I came up with those very same words, only it took me a month. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Well, I think I might have to keep you around for a while. Yeah, if you can afford me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's time for us to go. Come with me. Bye, Moonlight. This has been an absolutely spectacular evening, Andrew. I mean, everything is so beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying it. I love eating outside. I love picnics. How did you know? Oh, well, everybody loves picnic. So you, uh, you and Michael, you, you were high school sweethearts. Yes. <laughs> did you get married really young? Actually, we went our separate ways after high school. College on separate coasts. When we met up at our ten-year reunion, it was like uh, it was like we were right where we left off. How did you and Jenny meet? Um, I was older. Yeah. I concentrated on my career through my 20s and into my 30s. Too immature to settle down, I guess. And then when I was almost 40, a friend of a friend introduced us. She was much younger. It all happened really fast. I'm sorry. I'm just so curious about how people meet. I mean, is it fate or is it an accident? You must have passed the bistro a thousand times. Well, it's on the way to work. But it was so arbitrary. Such a sweet bistro. Yeah, I know, but then you came in, and you were so sweet, and you asked me out, but I was wearing a ring. I... Renee, I, I think I need to tell you something. Are you a felon? No. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm not a felon, and I'm not in a witness protection program. I just want to be completely honest with you about everything. So I need to figure out a way to tell you something without breaking a promise to someone else. Someone else? 
No, 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 that's someone else in that sense. Uh, let me try another way of explaining this. I'm, I'm really good at technical things. Computers, clocks. Okay, I don't get it. Well, I could easily show you how to move your, your clock ahead for daylight savings time. Well, that's good, because I am technologically challenged. I mean, I... I... Headley? Headley set us up? Wait, you saw that video! Oh! Don't, don't, please don't be annoyed at her. <sighs> I'm gonna personally thank her. To Headley? To Headley. So, what are you writing about for your essay? Essay? Yeah, the one about your favorite sound. Oh, yeah, that. Um, when's that due? <laughs> Monday. Mm. Want to hear mine? Sure. All right, so in reality, I guess it's the sound of rain hitting the roof, but I know that's such a cliche, so I'm going to go with something a little more original and say that I like the sound of champagne pissing in a glass. I mean, I guess I'm sort of copying Willis because his is the sound of ice clinking in a glass. Who's Willis? The guy you see me with almost every day at school. Oh, you mean that <laughs> that weird guy in the sweatshirt with the entire solar system on it? Uh, it actually only has a few planets on it. But, uh... Hey, I know what my sound is. What? The sound of bones getting pulverized under my death blow tags when I play football. <clears throat> huh? Uh, my mom's back. <laughs> of fun. Anyways, I'm going to turn in right now, but you two don't rush, and Bodhi, I had a really nice time. Thanks. Yeah. All right, night, guys. Well, uh, catch you later, Miss Sanderson. Good night. Uh, good night. Night, Bodhi. these little chocolate eclairs for dessert. <laughs> so nice. Oh, that sounds amazing. Did he make all that food? No, he picked it up. But he picked it up from some really great places, which is an important skill, <laughs> I have to say. So you like him? I do. I really do. Oh! <laughs> what about Bodhi? But you know what? I really like him. He's so polite and handsome, and he seems really respectful towards you. He seems like a good guy. You think so? Yeah. You're really gonna make me ask, aren't you? As if my concern isn't painful enough for me already? You couldn't consider my state of mind and just tell me on your own? Could you? I didn't. You didn't what? You know very well what I didn't. Are you sure you didn't? Yes, Willis, I am very sure I didn't. What was the reason you didn't? Because I didn't want to. You didn't want to? Why? It's none of your business why I didn't want to. I beg to differ. Yes, it is. Because Willis, his favorite sound is the sound of bones crunching beneath his football tackle. <laughs> but after talking it over with my mom, I have decided not to hold it against him. What? I have to meet up with my mom. I'll see you later. So Connor came to me yesterday and asked if he was 18 and under. I said, yes, Connor, you were six. So you were definitely 18 and under. And he said, oh, good. Oh, <laughs> oh mom, tell them my cow joke. Um, when Hedley was four, we were driving through the countryside and she saw a church with a cow in front of it. And she said, look, Mom, it's a holy cow. <laughs> so from then on, all cows are holy. <laughs> yeah, pump.
buy it right over there. Can't believe you've never been kissed before. You're so smoking hot. You could change that. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> ah. Huh. Oh, the game. Right here. Thompson hey. and Jones to Patterson. In trouble. Oh, oh, yes. tomorrow. Be there or be square. Starting over is so hard. If you felt the way I do, you'd know how. Lousy I feel. Song. Really like that one. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> you still think you'll see your father in heaven? Of course I do. I'm not gonna change my mind about that. What? You think I won't? You think it all just ends? No. If you do meet him, what will you say? I'd say... Daddy, didn't anyone ever tell you to look both ways before crossing? You know, my mom and I never talk about the day my dad died. I know nothing about it. Why? You only talk about the good things. They were the sad. How's your song coming? I finished it. You did? I want to hear it. OK. <laughs> Can I video you? Yeah, but don't show anyone. You know, I still want to work out a couple of things. And plus, it's kind of private. This is for my mother. If you could feel the way I feel You would say it's so unreal Cause time is ticking fast away Gotta get away from yesterday Cause it seems to me that yesterday is good to stay Gotta get away I can't live I can't stay in yesterday cause it's gone Gotta get away from here Gotta run to where the air is clear Gotta get away from just halfway Gotta run away from yesterday
of yesterday. That was perfect. Don't change a thing. I don't mean it, though. What? The lyrics, I don't mean them. I don't want to move on. I just want my dad back. black and white movies so much. What do you mean? They're classics. You know, they're not all about time travel and aliens and horror. You mean you don't like big mechanical gooey monsters? Yeah, not really. <laughs> or two hour fight scenes where the hero gets hit like 430 times and still gets up? Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> I like black and whites because they're real. They're about romance and the simple things in life. Oh. <laughs> You're a good kid. <laughs> hey, did you listen to the messages? Mm, no, I didn't. Oh. Hi, Renee. It's Lou. Call me when you get a chance. I have an entree idea I want to bounce off you. Hi, this is Kylie Epp, and this message is for Headley. If you could call me or my manager at 555-0199, I'd love to talk to you. Thanks. Bye. Did she say her name was Kylie Epp? Mom! Kylie Epp really called me. Did you talk to them? Well, why does she want to talk? I guess you'll find out in the morning. Hi, Andrew. I haven't heard from you in the past few days. I miss you and Connor. Give me a call when you can. Bye. Hey, Connor. Hi, Dad. This is a picture of Renee. Wow. I like Renee. Is she going to be my new mommy? You already have a mommy, Connor. She's in heaven. But I want one here. I know, kiddo. to go home. You get that door? I will never forgive you for what you did. What did I do? You sent my son to Kylie. How'd you find out? She called me. She called you? That's fantastic, unbelievable. She must really like it. No, she doesn't like it, Willa. She doesn't care about the song. All she wanted to talk about was how sad it was that my dad died and how her mom died when she was young, too, and that orphans have to stick together and that I have to stay strong. Like, she was afraid I was going to kill myself or something. Headley. I specifically told you not to show that song to anyone. You betrayed me. But I thought if something exciting happened with your song, you'd be happy about your mother moving on and... I will never trust you again, Willis. Headley! Headley, can we talk? I, I... I won't be able to eat, sleep, or concentrate until we resolve this. I can't take this. I'm sorry. I am so sorry.
haven't seen Andrew in a while. Everything okay? Oh, yeah. He's just been at a specialty item convention. He'll be back in a while. Oh, okay. I don't know. She just doesn't seem like herself lately. Yeah, I've noticed. Just drop this off. Don't want it. How do you know? You, you haven't even seen it. It's some kind of rock. Hear me out. Even though this is going to make you angry all over again, I have to say it. Willis told me that he contacted Kylie again, and apparently she really does like your song, and he's dying to tell you about it. Oh, please, you don't really believe that, do you? So you're saying that you don't believe that Kylie likes your song because Willis was involved in getting her to listen to it? That's like me saying I don't believe that Andrew liked me just because you were involved in getting us together. You knew? Yeah. Mom, I don't like everything that's happening to us. What do you mean? I want things to be the way they were. When? I don't know. Come here. Oh, honey. Remember when I used to hold you like this just to get you to calm down? Look. They're slippy and loopy. Go in here. A reenactment. Only promise me you're not going to start sucking your thumb. Did you mean that you wish things were the way they were before, Andrew? No. Huh? No. Mom, I'm glad you have Andrew. Even if it means that we can't spend as much time together, it's a good thing. I think that Andrew might be pulling away. He got home from the convention last night, and he uh, said he was too tired to come over. And he hardly texted me at all when he was away. And the worst part is I told him that I missed Connor. And he said that he was afraid that Connor was getting too attached to me. So I don't think it's working, honey. Mom, I hear No, honey. Oh. <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm going to be OK. I'm all right, really. When you go through really hard times, it makes you stronger. And what happened with your dad? Well, this is nothing in comparison to that. I'm so much stronger than I was before. I am. I'll be fine. I love you. Oh. Oh, they're all yours.
I really messed things up and I don't know how to fix this. Please help me. Are you okay? Willis, I'm so sorry. It's all good. I think I ruined my mom's life. Come on in. Well... Defies the imagination, doesn't it? Totally. It's so otherworldly. Is this how you imagine heaven? No. Why not? Because outer space is still in the same dimension as us. Heaven isn't. People get that confused and it annoys me. Like, they confuse aliens and spiritual beings. Aliens are still in the same dimension as us. Angels aren't. Do you really believe in all that? God, heaven, angels? <laughs> yeah, of course I do. I don't know how many times I've told you that. Well, so you've got it all figured out, don't you? I do. I'm incredibly smart and amazingly deep. That's what I like most about you. Your open-minded bullheadedness. <laughs> Are you implying that I have a fault? <laughs> no, I'm not. You're perfect. I am definitely not perfect. I'm superficial. I give too much importance to looks, like Bodie's. I'm always wanting to do makeovers on people. You never wanted to do a makeover on me. Oh, yes, I have. I've just never told you. Well, what would you do to me? Well, first of all, you need way cooler glasses. Or contacts. <laughs> And second of all, you need to mess up your hair. Yeah, see, that looks better already. Better? Better is all I can hope for. <laughs> and clothes. You need a whole new wardrobe. Just say the word and I'm on the job. You're a personal stylist. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Who's that hottie? Bianca. <laughs> That's Willis. What? <laughs> Willis? Is that really you? You're so prom dateable. Can we talk to someone for a moment? Yeah, just give me five minutes. I'll meet you in the park. Okay. We never did have a conversation about being exclusive, did we? Um, you didn't do anything wrong. You have every right to see anybody you want to. It was my fault for assuming we wouldn't see other people. I'm sorry, what are you talking about? Jenny and I, we weren't like you and Michael. Jennifer. <sighs> it's like she ripped my heart out. It's like she smashed my head against a brick wall. I would sit up late at night with Connor in my arms and just cry for her. I was devastated. With a guy that I consider to be a close friend. I'm sorry. I never got over it. So when I saw you with that guy, I just. I just shut down. What guy? Before I left to go to the conference the other night, I came down to surprise you. And I saw you in the bistro with this guy. You were hugging and. The man you saw me with at the bistro? Yes. 
That was my brother, Eddie. Your brother? Yeah, he was just passing through. He lives out of state. I don't, I don't know. You know what? I've been thinking. We rushed into this. I was naive, acting like a teenager, thinking that I could fall head over heels in love again. It was rash, and the worst part is we got our kids involved. And the thing is, is that Michael would have never played games with me. I'm sorry. If he had a problem with me, he would have talked about it, not given me the silent treatment. I don't like being treated like that. I've come to the conclusion that I'm really happier being alone with Headley. We don't need anyone else. Really? I'm sorry that you didn't have faith in me. And I'm sorry that I don't have any faith in you. Renee. What happened? I just broke up with Andrew. Oh, I was afraid of that. It's complicated. <laughs> Renee, I, I have to say this because you're important to me. Don't want to put in the effort it takes to have a grown-up relationship. Then don't. And if you want to wallow in mourning for the rest of your life, then do. But don't go closing doors that could stay open. You okay, girl? Oh, you'll be all right. You okay? Yeah, you're in it too. All right, we'll just. Hey. Rent old movies. Huh? Watch old black and white movies with Headley. She'll love you for that. And be super nice to her mother. Maybe even bring her mother flowers sometime. Ask her about herself. And just listen, okay? Just listen. Okay. Thanks. these. Actually, they're uh, for you, Miss Sanderson. They're a thank you for having such a beautiful daughter. Oh, how thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi. Um, classic old black and white movie. Want to watch it? Uh, now? If you're not busy. Uh, well, actually, my mom and I are kind of having a mother-daughter day. Oh, my gosh. What? Uh, I was supposed to cover for Mitzi today. What was I thinking? Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, then I would love to watch it. Perfect. <laughs> when I close my eyes, I feel like we're still in Paris. And what do you see when you open your eyes? That all I need is you, no matter where I am. And say yes and spend the rest of your life with me. No sun out this morning No answers in the rain Wake up, tell me that we'll be alright again I close my eyes
How come we've never talked about the day Dad died? I didn't want you to be sad. Mom, I'm already sad. What do you want to know? Everything. We were here, remember? Baking cookies. Peanuts. <laughs> and the phone rang. And it was this lady. And she said that I had to come down to the hospital right away. That your father had been in a terrible accident. And I, uh, I dropped you off at the neighbors. And I went to the hospital and I stood in the door. And I saw your dad and he looked like himself, only resting and... Until I got closer. When he was just... of my life wasn't there anymore. And I was just, I was just so devastated, honey. I didn't know what to do. So, somehow I just, I knew I had to be strong for you. I'm sorry, I just couldn't talk. I'm so sorry. I'm not... Andrew, my mom needs you. And I know that you need her. But she's stubborn, and if you want to be with her, you're going to have to fight for her. Come in, Hadley. Don't run, just crawl. You see it all when you just learn to love. Don't run, just crawl.
Michael? I don't know why things happen the way they do. But I know you want me to keep an open heart. And I think you'd approve. Reciprocate. What? No candies or balloons? No. <laughs> Renee, I'm so sorry for doubting you. I'm sorry I was so insecure that I couldn't come to you and talk about it sooner. I will never give you the silent treatment again. I will never do that to you again, I promise. You think I'd be here if I didn't know that? What should I do about Bodhi? What's to do? Well, with him, it's either sports or sports. I don't see what's so bad about a guy checking a few scores during a movie. They're sort of a big deal. Well, what's wrong is he's trying to be something he's not. So, he's trying to change for you. That's not a bad thing, that's a good thing. Headley, the cutest boy in school is into you, and you're turning it into a problem. You know what, for once, I think you are right. <laughs> Smile! Smile, you guys. Oh, you look great! <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh. That's great. You guys. You guys gonna be late? Yeah. Let's go. Ready? <laughs> Have fun, honey. Yeah. Bye. Oh, wait, I gotta get... Uh, Headley. Yeah? <clears throat> I want to ask you for your mother's hand in marriage. What do you say? Yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. I want to thank you, Headley, for introducing your mother to me. I'm pretty lucky to be getting you in my life, too. Congratulations, Andrew. Thank you. <gasps> Willis, you're not going to believe this. Andrew's going to propose to my mom. Can you believe this? We did this. This was us. What? We better leave him alone. Come on. <laughs> Willis, you made my head spin. Do you think the Maple Leafs can handle the Bruins this year? But I don't think they'll be able to handle the Blackhawks, do you? Uh, yeah, no, they'll take the Bruins, but yeah, Blackhawks are definitely a different story. What do you think of football? Well, how about Drew Brees with the Saints? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I love you, Andrew. I love you too. I guess the kids got it right.
sends my heart flying.